Thank you, my viewers, for helping make my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak, a bestseller on Amazon. You can learn more at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon. Okay, the annual Billy's by the Bay Fluke Fishing Tournament held on Eastern Long Island. That collection of boats that are dispersing out ahead of us. That's the, the contest starting, and why are we behind everybody? Well, this is entirely my fault. We were out there, and I realized that I left my gulp recharge bucket back at the dock. So we went in to get it, so we will have a slightly later start than everybody else. But yeah, we'll survive. Thanks, Rick, for... Uh, coming, going back in to get that bucket. Hey, this is a special kind of day for this, though. It is rough. It is windy. Normally, we'd head out to the ocean. But this time, we are going to be uh, limited to fishing uh, inside this bay system because it's just really nasty windy. Um, and drift, drift control is going to be a big part of this. All right, so I'm going to start out by not fishing. I'm going to run the boat for the first couple of drifts and lay down some track lines. Um, Rick hasn't been fishing these waters this year. I have, and uh, I feel as though I know where these fish are and what we need to do. And there's going to be a lot of drift control on this trip. And right now we're running off the trolling motor a little bit on the outboard. But, you know, we need to combat this wind or else we're going to be just flying through here and not going to be able to fish. So uh, right now those guys have their lines in the water, and I'm just trying to get some track lines on the plotter. Okay, I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So, all right, all right, he's got a fluke. All right, so I guess we'll keep drifting. Is that the net? Oh, that was fast. Good sign. Look at that. Uh, yeah. It's a giant fish. Anyway. Yeah. It's probably uh, I don't a trophy fish. Yeah. So. Uh, okay, <coughs> this is good. I'll get to run the ledge now. Hardly anybody here, so you don't know where it is. Yeah. I, I wish I you know what I should have done. I forgot because I could have put it on my phone. But I I know this contour line very well. All right, guys, let's get get them in. All right. Okay, besides Rick and I, we've got uh, Cliff and Nicholas on board. Yeah. Put this on the seat there, please. All right. I'm in neutral. neutral. Right All right, the guy in the wheel has to rely on these guys fishing to let them know that the speed is good. You'll see Cliff give me a thumbs up here, let me know it's good. Got him, clown Cliff? Okay, so be on the net. Oh, yeah? Okay. You got the net, Nick? Yep. It's the right kind, just... Yeah. Yeah. No, the net's up right there, right there. But you're right. You're right. I mean, it's not a sea robin. It could be a weak fish, but... Uh, don't, don't got the right... Don't got the right, uh... uh. Shakes? Yeah. Nah, it's up the oh, it's a fluke. It's a fluke. Yeah. Big one? No, it's not even a good one. It's a keeper, though. Yeah, but we, yeah, all right. That's a keeper, let's So why did we run back to the dock to get that silly little jar of gulp juice and gulp that's sitting on the cutting board? Well, I'm going to be recharging like crazy. I actually lost a little juice when we hit a wave, but not only am I recharging between drifts, I mean sticking everything back in there, you'll see what I'm doing right here is between drifts, I'm switching grubs, at least one grub each time, try to get a fresh one uh, soaked with juice in there, and I'm going to do that religiously this entire trip. I'm going to make sure every time I run up that this stuff is soaked. Now, the other guys have gulp buckets too. In fact, right at the beginning of this clip, um, Nicholas was sticking his rig down in that jar bottom left-hand corner uh, of the boat there. And, uh, yep, so uh, you know that, that's going to be part of the strategy. Keep that stuff soaked. Okay, we're basically using that trolling motor almost as a drift control sock, uh, cutting, reducing the wind component of the drift. No net, no net, no net. No net, no net. Alright. It's a fluke, but no net. I'll talk to you later. Alright. See you later. Bye. I 
know, I know. <laughs> I hope the winner's not three pounds. <laughs> it was a keeper, yeah. It was a keeper? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, we gotta be more careful about that. Yeah, it's okay, it's one little blue. Somebody's, somebody's got to beat that one. <laughs> no question about it. All right, I'm using a six ounce bucktail. Uh, sometimes it's a little heavy, but the drift is inconsistent. So it's, at least it's always in the strike zone. Oh, here's a fluke kit. Definitely a fluke kit. There. Oh, you're in? Good one? No, not a good one, but a fluke. But, you know, hey, it shows, you know, this is the right thing to do anyway. Bigger than the other one. Shit. Well, maybe it's just a keeper. Okay. Put it in the box. Oh, here's a blue kit. Here's a blue kit. Come on. That's a better one. That? No. You know what? We want to get a net back here. Right, easy on the power. Uh. Yeah, and that would have been good, yeah. I'm trying to trying to delay it, but I can swing him. He's, he's a borderline keeper. No rush, but let's we got two nets. Let's keep one back here. Yeah, it's a borderline keeper. Well, I, I think the key is we don't go past this too much farther past this, but no, you're doing great. This is a beautiful yeah, troll. I got two keepers on this troll. Yeah, the, the, uh, yeah, no, it's great. Great. So much better this way than yeah. going the other way. This is where I started to turn out a bit. I'm getting hit again here. There he is. Okay, net. Okay, net. Net, quick. Quick, we got a hustle. Don't worry about it right now. That will be good enough. Coming over. All right, there's just a keeper, but come on, I got three keepers on this drift, so. Hang on, hang on. All right, I got it. Oh, yeah, sorry. Right. Yeah. That was not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, and you know, Rick, I wouldn't even hesitate in that situation to just kick it in gear a little. Oh, okay, that's, that's true. You know, it's... It's a fluke. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't be going for the net, though. My wife, she loves All right. Okay, under normal conditions, you'll use maybe one third of your trolling motor battery capacity. Under these conditions, we went through the battery in about three and a half hours. We're now using um, the main motors for drift control. Net, net, net. If this is a legit hook fluke and not a foul hook, yeah. then this is going to be pretty damn interesting. Oh boy. You hear that, Cliff? Oh boy. Oh boy. See that uh, head shake? I assume we're in neutral, huh? Yes. Yeah, if, uh, if this is legit, I did see a couple head shakes. I did too. For contest meets, underneath the, the gill. 
Oh, it's not. A, it's not a. It's not in his. I don't know. I'm you know. Not, I'm not I mean. Sure. Well, I mean, oh no, I mean, we, you know. No, no. It won't make any difference, but um, I'm not sure that you can enter a fish hook like that in a contest. Net. And this is a legit hook. I'm not worried about that right now. Come on. I know, I'm sorry about that. I just, this is a short net too. This is a nice sorry fish. about that, Rick. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah. Yep. What kind of color box hell is that? Secret game one? Yeah, it's only two of them ever made. What? No. <laughs> oh, that bucktail. So by the way, this one's bigger than the one I foul hooked, which makes yeah. me very happy. That's you know what? I'm happy with this fish. That's a cool fish right there. There's no shame in this one. No. I'm getting too excited. Boy, he's got some belly too. Gonna have to keep him head up. I know what I'm gonna do. Give me a freaking thing. I just need a, a, a hook somewhere to close his mouth up because he's got a huge thing in his belly. And uh, I'll just take any old bucktail here, close up his mouth because I don't want that. Whatever, I don't want him spitting up whatever that is. I mean, look at this. Wonder what look I at this. Oh, it's probably a porgy. Yeah. I mean, I, I wish I had a spike to get it through his head and kill him. That's better than what they had. Oh, okay, cool. And look at this kid, Nicholas, getting my rig out of the net. That's how you earn your spot on the boat. Excellent. What a great kid. So, yeah, the funny thing about that is Rick had to attend to something. So I had to run one of the drifts, and I kind of messed it up and went a little, little bit deeper, and that's when we foul-hooked that bigger one. So naturally, we went back and repeated that drift, and then we caught the one, that, that really nice one. And we're not done. So, you know, he should have some respect. It's a fluke. It's a fluke. Netter? Yeah, it's a netter. It's a netter right behind you, Cliff. Here's that big net. Hand it to me. I'll do it. I told you you had to come out deeper. You kept saying no. Yeah, exactly. That has to be 45 feet. Yeah, I know. I was 45 feet I was over and over. I know we got to be on 45 over and over. It wasn't until you took a leak and I got a hold of the wheel. Yes, you corrected me. We're like 65, 70. Right? Not as big as the other one. Oh, nice. No, but nice, nice, nice keeper. How the hell can we get two on 
one's drifting. If not, get them. I'm glad those boats are out of here. Hey, there we go. Yeah, yeah, Cliffy's got a good one. Right, right? Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, get the net. Get the net, Brick. Okay. Neutral, right? Neutral! Well, we'll worry about that when we get him in the net. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Keeper. Okay, now we're back trolling. Stern first now, not bow first like we were. Okay, I really need a net. Okay. Oh! Damn it! Quick, quick, quick! Get back down! Get back down! Get back down! Hurry up! Oh! That was a good one. Wow! That would have been a $10,000 fish. Oh my god, that's gonna haunt me. I wish that had never happened. What's the drift speed? Drift speed, one six! Come on, slow her down! No, I don't. Okay, so we know there's an eight plus pounder was weighed in. We definitely are not near that. We're kind of hoping maybe we could get third place out of this. We'll see. I'm just uh, put it in my blue bag back there. Okay, so clearly That's, these three. Yeah. And actually, these two. Okay, and the official weigh-in, and uh, we'll get a nice, precise weight on this, uh, record that weight and the boat number, compare it against the other entries, and uh, see where we stand. She's writing down 6.18, and apparently, at, at the moment, this is good enough for second place. All right, that's cool. That's cool. What do you got? Tennis ball in there? Yeah. Like I said, I got it. I got it all on video. Tennis ball. Actually, I've got three adult bunker and one forty. Yeah. It was a lot of work. It feels like a, it feels like a sinker. Yeah. You're, you're free to open it up. Like I said, I, I've, I've got them on run. Oh, well, with the contest that really matters, the biggest fish off of Halkius's boat, uh, Doc is weighing right now. Four, nine, six. Well, we beat that, so we're already winners, but there's the official contest right here. She's about to pull the plug, and it's over, and we have second place. We're the fluke. So how can you uh, just point it, you know, I probably won't even use it. 5.65, boat number 16. <laughs> that earns him $300. Stay here with me, pal. Stay here. All right. Now we're going to do something a little different here. Ready? First place, right? First place. Yeah. The person who won first prize, first place, is coming up before the second place winner. Oh, you want to be the film? Oh, yes. Definitely. 
Yes. Yes. Second place, Fish. Come on up here. Vote number 13. 13. Blue Jay. How you doing? Blue Jay. Now, second place takes home $500. However, he also takes home <laughs> First place, Fish, was not in the Calcutta. Oh my God! <laughs> so, you didn't know that? Get the hell out of here. Uh, yeah. How much is this? How much is this? This is about $5,800. It's more than $5,800. First place fish. With that eight. Come on. Oh my God. First place fish goes to boat number. 35. Come on up here and get a thousand dollars. You're in there. Woo! 35? I I want to be here. Honey, I was wrong. I took it off. That's a surprise. Give us on the give us on the It's the captain from boat number 35 in the house. All right. You work this out later. Okay, so the Calcutta money was $6,200 plus the 500 second place prize. So that fish was worth $6,700. And what we're going to do is cut that fish open and see what was in the stomach that may have made up that eight ounce difference between second and third place and been worth uh, an extra 6200 bucks. And so look, you know, it was uh, like $500 to enter the tournament with the Calcuttas and all. So we pull that out after we split it four ways. Everybody goes home with $1,550 and, and a great story. Hey, we're not wasting anything here. We got the fluke skins getting thrown into the water by the dock, and uh, the dock critters are waiting. There's some nice stripers in there just ready to woof down uh, whatever skins or guts we, we flip down into the water. And, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool stuff to watch. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. What's in the belly? I'm going to go with Porgy. Better not be uh, Pyramid Look Sinker. That. Look at yeah. that. There you go. It's pretty messy. It's a fish. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's got a tail. Oh. Oh, you know what? Maybe more than one porgy. Mm. Wow. Oh, a baby weak fish. Uh, that Man, I would not a, have guessed that. But that's a porgy underneath. Yeah. A little porgy and uh, what looks like a small weak. Yeah. Well, is there a half pound of uh, stomach contents in there that would make the difference up between second and third place? I, I couldn't tell you. I, I can tell you that this fish was the same length as the one Doc weighed in, but mine was about uh, 1.2 pounds heavier. So I don't know. Yeah, that is a weak fish. Uh, quite a surprise there. Okay, thank you so much to Rick for staying on the wheel all day and, and keeping us on the fish. And uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check out my online courses at saltstrong.com skinner. And don't forget my books, including my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surfboat and Kayak, available at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon.